Hey everybody, it's Luke with Figure Me Out. And today we're looking at my latest custom. Uh, it is Peter B. Parker from Marvel's uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, I kind of customized the one that uh, Marvel or uh, Marvel Hasbro had given us um, this last year or earlier this year. I can't remember when it came out exactly, but uh, I have customized it here. As you can see, this is all the accessories that uh, are interchangeable with it uh, based off what I've done as a custom. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, as you can see, I took the jacket off. I painted the, uh, you know, the back of the spider logo. I actually repainted the whole thing so the colors would match. Um, it's a little bit duller of a red and blue than the ones that were on it, but I think it looks pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna take it off the stand here and show you how we interchange the parts and tell you how you can do this if you uh, are interested. So here it is off the stand. And taking a closer look at what I did here, um, you can see that he's obviously wearing a different uh, coat than the one that originally came. Uh, the original figure had the coat on with the uh, arms in there as well. Uh, the back wasn't painted, anything like that. But uh, the way that I did this was I actually uh, took the back off. I took a um, drill and I dribbled in and cracked the back open. And as you can see, now we have access to the arms and uh, I put a magnet in there and in the back of the chest piece here. So the chest piece actually is just attached by a little magnet that clips on. And you gotta kinda line it up right to make it look you know, normal and presentable. But, uh, but it allows to do some cool things here. So let me just uh, show you what I've got going on here. So you can actually take the back off with the little magnet that's on there. You can take the arms off as well and you can interchange those with what I did was uh, some unarmed uh, pieces. The pieces that I use for this is obviously the Marvel Legends Peter B. Parker, uh, but then I also stole the arms from a six-arm Spider-Man that I had an extra of, and I had to crack that one open. I had to completely destroy that figure to make this one, but I think it paid off in the end, because now we have unarmed, or, or uh, unsleeved Peter B. Parker. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that and how that turned out. The other thing was the legs. You can see I got the spider legs on there. That was also from the uh, six arm Spider-Man. And what I did here was I used this little clear tube. This is actually a stand for head pool that I cut up. I took a hand drill and I drilled down into the boots and it actually fit just right in the legs there. So now you have Spider-Man legs rather than the uh, ones that came in the package. But if that's not all, uh, you can also take the arms that uh, I had there and put the regular Peter B. Parker hands on them. You can pop those out, and I took the hands from the Six Arms Spider-Man and painted those as well. So you can have whipping hands on either side, or you can have uh, fist hands on either side. So that's pretty cool. A lot of options with that, a lot of options for photography and stuff, which is always good. And of course, if you wanted to convert them back to the original, you can still do that. So you can take the feet off here, and take those off gently. And you can pop back in the original feet as well. They just pop in. Easier said than done, but they actually pop in pretty smooth. If you wanted to sand these down, that probably wouldn't be a bad idea, just to make them go in and out a little bit easier. But uh, I don't plan on using these a whole lot, so it's not really a big deal. Behind the camera strength here, pop that in. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, you can have him in his uh, streetwear clothes, a little bit more casual there. And if you really wanted to, you could take the back piece off, you could take the arms off, you could put on the original arms that came with it, if you so chose, and they actually line up perfectly in there, as you would expect. Pop the back piece back on, and with a little finagling, and uh, you know, maybe some heat on this jacket, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. The back tends to come off whenever I do this, but you can thread the arms through there and get the jacket look back to your Peter B. So you can have the end of the Spider-Verse original Peter B. Parker. So you can go back to the original figure if you want. But uh, I actually am going to take this jacket back off, put his Spider-Man arms back on, and take some pictures here so that you can see how that looks. But uh, yeah, pretty, um, pretty involved custom, probably one of the more involved ones that I've done recently. Um, like I said, if you want to, basically you gotta take two figures and combine them into one on this, which is the six arm Spider-Man, which is where I got the arms, the feet, the uh, alternate arms, the hands, bump the camera there, and the, uh, the legs as well. But uh, all in all, pretty, uh, pretty fun little custom. 
One thing I will note though, uh, I did have to use a little green stuff on the top of the torso here and on the sides. I don't know if you can tell where it's at. Hopefully not. Hopefully I did a good job of blending it. But I think he looks more like uh, the Moff X or the, uh, the Sentinel one that's coming out now. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, um, if you wanted to do this, be warned that this torso piece is kind of a turd to crack. There's actually an internal piece that uh, is surrounded by two, kind of like a clamshell in there. So that's kind of hard to crack open. The other part that was impossibly difficult to crack open was the upper torso. Uh, if I pull this off, you can see I had to fill in some spots there. And uh, that thing was really difficult to get in. If you want to look at the engineering on that though, there's a little bit of a closer view for you. But uh, I would say drill in here, here, and then at the bottom as well. And you can crack that open and get access to it. But yeah, all in all, pretty fun build. I very much enjoyed this and I really like how it turned out. And hopefully you did too. But uh, yeah, if you like this, uh, please like, comment, uh, subscribe if you want to. Check me out over on Instagram, Luke underscore figure me out at Instagram.com. And uh, I'll have some more pictures and things like that up there. Uh, but yeah, for now, this is it. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, you know, if you want to do your own, drop me a line in the comments and let me know if you're going to do it. It's uh, like I said, it's a pretty fun custom, a little bit involved. Uh, definitely some high level, you know, detail painting and things with the spider logo and all that. That was kind of hard to match and hard to get in there. But uh, all in all, I think it turned out really well and I'm very pleased with the result. So hopefully you guys like this. I know I did. But uh, until we meet again, Happy collecting.